I managed to uh, capture both uh, Nick Booth and uh, Dave Briggs, who are famed person, persons around uh, the talk about local scene, hyperlocal blogging, all things online and so forth. Come on, guys, what do you want to talk about? What's new and what just continues to work? Well, can I first of all say, actually, that um, having nothing to do whatsoever, frankly, with the hyperlocal scene nor anything else that's being discussed today, what a joy it is to uh, attend an unconference, which I have no role whatsoever <laughs> in organising or contributing to in any meaningful way. So I think that's the key thing for me today. Which means you can be snarky from the back as opposed to from the front. Well, absolutely, yes. Right. Uh, which has been great fun. Uh, OK, stuff that caught my eye is the work that um, Gavin, I forget his surname, is doing in Horsham where he actually seems to have started to create a sensible model of how hyperlocal sites could sell advertising, which is based on the fact that his website, uh, if, you have, if you Google Horsham, his website comes very high up in Google. Therefore, he can go to companies that sell services, and if you Google Horsham and mortgages, then they will come up very high in Google. So he's selling at about 10 quid a month, a service that's very valuable to local businesses. And I think it's not just a very simple model, uh, but also it actually supports local businesses. Which, so, so it means that the hyperlocal site is, tr is trying to bring business back into the town. So that was almost the first time I sat there and looked at an advertising model that didn't look clumsy, that didn't look too ambitious or based on lunatic ideas that people will pay vast sums of money for this sort of advertising, but was doable. So that really interested me. And also tell us why, tell us why social media surgeries continue to be important. Um, well, they're just a really simple way of encouraging an online civic conversation in your neighbourhood. And if you're running a hyperlocal blog, the more of your neighbourhood forums or your local charities are blogging and using the web, the more content you will get. So there's a complete connection between the business of going out as a volunteer and sharing your skills with local community and voluntary organisations and the success of what you're trying to do on the web. And that's also true for government. So we've now got a model where in one city we're just starting to put together a coalition of small amounts of money from three housing associations, the police and the local neighbourhood partnership all of whom are going to work on social media surgeries to nurture the civic conversation in their patch because they all benefit from it so they can all invest a small amount in making it happen and the bottom line is if people aren't on the web talking about civic stuff 95% of the things we're trying to aspire to do here just can't happen. I mean that's interesting because uh, some work I'm doing with a, a local charity where I'm a trustee of Community Links in Lincolnshire is we're just recruiting some uh, local community broadband champions and skills and things like that is going to be a key area um, of that. So I can see the social media surgery type model being a, a key part, I think, of uh, helping to support those guys. Just wondering, talking to Nick, is there many of these social media surgeries that take place in rural settings as well as in the big cities? Not so many, um, partly because it's difficult to travel. Uh, I mean, we, what we've done is we now increasingly send paid surgeons in to do jobs in, in, in poorer neighbourhoods because there isn't enough digital social capital, social capital to happen there. But the, I think the important thing about social media surgery is when people see Leeds, for example, which is always buzzing and there's 30 or 40 or 50 people there, they think that's what a social media surgery should be. But if there's two people in the local pub, in their local village, sharing stuff with each other, that's really good as well. So I've always said, have no expectations. If, you can, if somebody else turns up and gets some help and you get to have a pint together, that's a success as far as I'm concerned. So, so people in rural areas can just... Just, just set them up and not worry too much about how buzzing they are. Just provide a sort of background service. Yeah, small acorns and that Indeed. sort of thing. Excellent. So it's, it's basically an excuse to go down to the pub. Of course it is. It should always be enjoyable. Otherwise, why would you bother doing it? Um, 